Your IGs are down in the description. Okay, how old are you? How old are you? 18. All right, where are you from? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Okay. Yeah, the, the Fort Myers gang. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. best friends. Right, what do you do for work? Um, I recently I sell insurance. I recently just started that job, but um. What kind of I'm insurance you sell? So, life, love insurance, uh, life insurance or? Yeah, health insurance, life insurance. Okay. Um, and then what did you say? You said you're a model. Yeah. Fresh. What do you model? Um, everything. Like I just started in in the industry. She belongs to the street. Uh -oh. have, you, uh -oh. have you actually been like a magazine <laughs> like Vogue? Uh, no. <laughs> so but, no, you're not a model then. <laughs> no. no. Ah! What Drake said? A uh, certified one. There you go. Yeah. Uh -uh. She's uncertified. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. uncertified. What's your uh, high <laughs> for now? Well, you're only 18, so I'm assuming you, you finished high school or not yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I graduated at 17. Uh, uh, relationship high status? Um, single. All right. What did you say? Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Is it somebody here? Um. Oh, maybe. maybe. Oh shit! She's hiding niggas now. <laughs> no, not hiding. No, take the s off. So you are yeah. single or not? Hiding a nigga. A nigga. A. A big A. <laughs> a big A. Big a. Big a. Big a. So you are single or no? Um. It's complicated. It's complicated. But. <laughs> Does he also want to play house? E yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a Fort Myers running theme. Not yeah. play house, but he just he just doesn't know how to communicate. Like he's a grown man and you yeah. Know. How old is he? I'd rather not disclose that. Is he in his thirties? <laughs> is he in his thirties? Oh, I'd rather not disclose. I shouldn't want to say because they might point point him out. They won't. There's yeah, but... no. Is he watching? That's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't All right. Know. So when you say he doesn't communicate, can you get, give me an, an example? Um, he just like plays in my face. Like, I, you know, if you like somebody, you you like to talk to them every day. You know what I'm saying? And he sometimes he just doesn't text me, call me. So he got maybe, like that. maybe he's working though. Right. <laughs> maybe he's working. Maybe he's busy. You know? Um, no. You never too busy. Probably, you, you can take, have you can take your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, man. Hold up. Does he have money? Yeah. <laughs> so you do realize that if someone has money, they're not gonna have a lot of free time, right? No, there's free time. There's free time because I've I um, spent I've spent my days with him. You know. All right. So then, like that. what do you two talk about then? Um, nah, bullshit, right? Nah, they be yeah, no, it's bullshit. Nah, bro. nah, nah, Chris, they, they be just fucking. Yeah. No, <laughs> we be talking. We have plans. Like, about, we have goals what, like that. Um, You're 18. Yeah, I'm young. So yeah, yeah, I have ambitions. So like, 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 like what? Um, Being a model, a real yeah. model. Yeah, a runway model actually. Vogue. Yeah, I can see you. So you don't like that he doesn't talk to you every day? Not even that. It's just like, you know, like, he doesn't explain. He doesn't really tell tell me how he feels. Like, <laughs> it's the lack of <laughs> communication. Like, lack of communication. like, you know, if you're oh. if you're with your partner, you know what I'm saying? You communicate how you feel. Like, this bothers me. I would like you to do this or I would like you to do that. Do you or... think men talk like that, though? Definitely. Not all Definitely men, not. but not, in this not all men. Not in this generation, but like, you know. Do you honestly think you said he's significantly older than you, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually think you're in a position to actually help him, though, if he was to tell you his problems? Yeah. You're 18 years old? You're a girl. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah like, no. you're an 18-year-old girl. You just graduated high school. Do you really think that you can tell a guy who's significantly more successful and makes more money than you and has more life experience, do you honestly think him telling you his problems would make sense for him? Um, it could in a way. You never know. So look, he hasn't tried. That's what I'm saying. I have a property. So like, mm -hmm. There's a bee invasion on the property. What should I do? Um, call a beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? For real? No, no. I was giving an example of something <laughs> issue that I, I might have. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. Just call somebody. No, call a beekeeper, or you know, I'll move out, get an an Airbnb, wait for the beekeeper to come, get the bees out. You know, probably might need to buy new furniture or something, repaint walls if it's really that bad. I'll be there to help you. <laughs> I don't know what you you know like. Thank you. That's. It's not a solution at all. I know. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, hey, that, that doesn't help at all. And, and here's the difference. I've kind of noticed this between men and women, right? So, like, when women tell you their problems, they just want someone to hear them. Mm -hmm. When men tell you their problems, they want a solution. So, he's probably not telling you his problems because you really can't give a realistic solution to him. Probably, but it would so, just be nice to, like, communicate with me. Like, at least let me know that. Even then, he wouldn't let, let you know that know. you're useless to him? Uh, not useless. Just, like, you know, hey, like, I don't think you could help in the situation. But, but you know, just not, let me know, like, how you feel. Like, it's just nice anything. if you communicate. Yeah, he's not saying Thing. She wants him to cry in front of yeah, her. Yeah, she wants him to cry. Like, like, yeah, I would like him to communicate with me. Tell me how you feel.
these sound effects are crazy. Uh, <laughs> so single, but or situationship. I just find it funny, bro, because like girls always want guys to communicate to them, and it's like as if they could actually help us. Yeah, they can't, bro. Like well, that's why we don't tell y'all our problems, man. Y'all so can't help. I mean, how but do anyway, you know if you don't but you, yeah, but right. you never know. We'll get into that here in a second. Um, and then you said single, somewhat, and then are you a birth controller now? Yes. Okay. What's w. your? What's your? Did, did he make you get on it? No. Oh, you've been on it. Okay. No, I got on it because of my ex. My ex's <laughs> mom actually. Okay. What's your racial background? <laughs> Black and white. Black and white. All right. <laughs> Yeah, she said, and I don't, what, I don't what, want does your, what does your boyfriend do just out of curiosity? I can't disclose that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I guarantee you he's not the only guy that does that profession. I can't disclose Unless it. Unless it's illegal. I can't disclose it. Obviously, this guy is probably somebody in for, for Myers that people would know. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. No. Well, his relative. Girl, bar. Girl. No. Girl. No. Girl, no. I don't do that. I'm not it. going to Fort Myers. It's very small. No, it's very small. He's not going to Fort Myers. Wait, yeah. would he claim you as his girl, though? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's my problem. Like he yeah. just doesn't right. communicate. So yeah, like, that's yeah. a fuck no. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, um, oh, wow. ew, that is shit crazy. I'm telling you, she's a slow Tuesday night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead, guys. We got a special guest in the house. We're gonna go ahead and cut to Rumble here so yes. that we can just get right into it. Uh, our guest is banned on YouTube. So sorry, guys. It is what it is. We got to get controversy in the house. So uh, guys, let's start cutting the YouTube stream, guys. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead, set up, lady, set up, set up, yeah. set up, and then we're gonna bring our boy. Invade has raided the stream, shout out to Invade. Yeah, hey, shout out to Invade. No, no, don't shout out that nigga. Who is that? Oh, bro? We're batting him to the hell. Oh, ban him? Uh, okay. Okay, so now, nah, ban, ban his nigga, bro. Yeah, okay, yeah. Why, why you ban him? Party something crazy. Oh, the flag? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, nigga trying to get us in trouble. Um, yo, uh, are we, tell us when we're off for YouTube. Guys, YouTube, come on over to Rumble, rumble.com slash freshfit, come on over right and now. Guess the bonus on the way as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> bro, Myers has a running joke. Then niggas play house all day. Yeah. Uh, that? It's, it's, it's so small. The community's so small. And that's like, why... The top guys are smashing all the girls. Mm. Exactly. Everybody, 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 know everybody. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's so, so small. small. Miami, but yeah. super small. It's so small. Uh, okay. Yeah? Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Right. let's bring Tommy in. We got a special guest now. It's Tommy Sotomayor. <laughs> In the back. Uh, Tommy was I want to definitely get, get his like, take. Uh, we got the king of controversy in the house, Tommy Sotomayor. Yep. Uh, man, so okay, so someone was saying something before about why why not tell your problems. Somebody over here, I just saw, the, I heard a voice from. Oh, that was yeah, yeah. So oh yeah, go ahead. It's back low again. <laughs> uh, let's raise the share. Let's raise the share. Oh, we'll get this set up while we get. The, someone was saying something here. Okay, because they said something go about. Ahead. That's why y'all don't tell us like y'all feelings because we can't help y'all. Yes. Y'all don't know if y'all don't try. Because yeah. some of us do got the answers and some of us can help and provide. But you won't know that if you won't try. The reason why I say that is because what I've realized is that most women just can't help men with most problems. And the reason why is because y'all are not us and you guys don't have the same worldviews a lot of the times. And um, with all due respect, men live way harder lives than women do. So... What the hell do I look like asking someone who lives life on easy mode how to do something on hard mode? Define easy. Well, um, women have a lot of privileges and accesses that men simply don't. And as a byproduct of that, your guys' lives are a lot easier than ours, especially in 2024 in the you know, internet age. So for me to ask a female who isn't equipped with the same, um, I guess, adversities... Knowledge? And knowledge, uh, it would just be ridiculous. Tell me, you can throw your headphones on so you can hear. Oh, us. You know, uh, it so sense. it just it just doesn't make sense for me to ask for a woman to get a to get a woman's. I mean, I could get her take on it, but a lot of the times it's not going to be that helpful to me. All right, that makes sense. Especially when in her situation, right, where she's significantly younger than her counterpart. So it's like, like what's he going to do? Yeah. He's going to tell you his problem. You're going to be like, mm, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And what happens? Like, there's no solution. Like, when men talk about their problems, they're typically looking for solutions versus women tell their problems so they can hear, uh, you know, someone to feel sorry for them. Like, we don't deal with our problems the same way. It also doesn't help with the age gap, too. So. Yeah. Go ahead, Tommy. You were gonna say he's older. Well, I think enough men have seen this happen, too. When you're too open to a woman and you tell a woman what your problem is, Ooh. when she get mad at you, what the first thing she throw up? Your throw problem. Nigga, problem. I helped you with this. She's throw it in your yes. face. Yeah. That's why they about to fire your black ass. Yeah. Oh. Which is terrible, but yeah. Yes, that's the first thing a woman does. Yeah. You can't say something to this woman. Give her your vulnerabilities. She's going to tell everybody what your Achilles heel is. Mm. She's going to okay. tell everybody to cut Samson's hair off. <laughs> Not that's every facts. female is like that. Oh, God. See, 
you may be right. They don't like that at the beginning, <laughs> but it can turn into that later on. It not, depends how toxic you. Not you every turn guy. Into. Hold it. Not every guy has HIV. Do you fuck everybody with uh, oh. no condom to see if he has it? You don't get tested before anything. That's the point. So then the same thing when you say not every woman's like that. The whole idea is this man doesn't know. He doesn't know anybody, just yeah. like y'all don't know. Y'all don't know if the nigga whoops ass until he whoop ass. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That first day when this nigga on top of you elbowing you, you're like, oh, shit, he's abusive. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Um, anyone else had any takes on that as far as, like, men coming with their problems to women? Or whatever? I do. Oh, uh, sure. I feel like this. I feel like it's certain men that can tell certain women they problems because certain women is in a position to help you fix your problems. Um, it's something like women that's over men, like sugar mamas. Um, you can tell a woman your problem, and she can probably fix your problem. You have some men that is weaker than some women, and some women that is stronger than some men, and vice versa. So it just depends on the individual. Okay. And that's just. Let me ask you a question then. Right. Uh, do you think a dynamic where the woman is stronger than the man and is the authority to the man and can actually give him advice? Do you think those relationships last? Uh, fifty fifty. I, I, I 50, can give you a, I can give you an example. So my mother is a woman that uh, that I know is stronger than a man. She only date men that are lesser than her. That is like bitch boys that she tell what to do. Damn. And I'm gonna tell you that her relationships last because everybody know they roll. You sound like you get a nigga told pretty quick too though. <laughs> do do. You got a little rasp in your voice. I do. What I do. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that that's a, a recipe for success for most women to just be in a situation where you're the authority over a man? And I, I feel like you do what you do, whatever fits you. I don't feel like it's rules in this world. I feel like if you're a woman that wants to be in control of a man, you want him to submit to you, then you get the bitch boys. But if you're a woman that wants to submit to a man, you get you a man that's strong. You strong. You strong where he weak, he, he strong where you weak, and y'all work it out. So I respectfully disagree, and the reason why is because uh, when a woman's with a man that sh that is a bitch boy, as you claim, she can't respect him. And if she can't respect She'll him, never. there can't be no real love there. Never. And she's going to end up fucking somebody else. The relationship never works when the woman is, is the is the authority, as you're saying. Disagree. I see something How long different. has your mom been with that guy? Uh, those guys. Or long, those guys? One guy for a long while. Right, a long while. And let me tell you, she is, is that your father? everything. Say it again. Is that your father? My I'm 40, so fuck no. <laughs> my okay. daddy is not a bitch in no way, shape, form, or fashion. It's my sister daddy that's the bitch, and he know he a bitch, and we all know he a bitch, and nobody's have a problem with him being a bitch. Ouch. So the thing is, my mom, what does she do? He do what he do, and it works. He got the big dick. She do what she do. Oh. Oh, she so take care of everything. Ooh. She's sugar mama. She okay with it, and mm -hmm. I am too. Period. Do you think she's okay with it, or she's coping with it because her ability to she attract She's okay with it because she coming every day. Oh, yeah, wow. but you got to understand that she's oh. older and her options aren't the same as Obviously when she was younger. Because so. clearly, she had you, right? 40 years ago. 40. Something. And, you, know and you, just told, you literally just admitted just now that your father wasn't a bitch, right? He was not. Oh, so let's give me, let me get this straight. When your mother was younger, uh -huh. more attractive and more fertile. Uh -uh, you got to see my mama. She preferred, but she was still younger, attract, more attractive and fertile back then, regardless from biological standpoint. She's fertile standpoint. right now. She had a baby at 40. <sighs> well, she was more fertile 40 years ago when you were born, correct? <laughs> I guess so. Yes. So, <laughs> what I'm saying is that when she was more attractive, uh -huh. back then, uh -huh. she got a man who was strong, which was, was your father. No, they was in high school. Kids. But he was a strong man, though. By your own admission. You said my well, daddy's not a back, bitch. He ain't. That's why he got him a woman that's a bitch and he the man. Okay. But what I'm saying is that your mom, when she was hotter and younger, I she had a stronger that. man. I, if what you say. What? Whatever you say. If you say that, then okay, yeah. <laughs> we don't go with it. I'm just repeating back what you what told you me. Say. And I'm like saying what, I'm... what what you saying is uh, correct. If you said when my mama was hotter, because I never said that. I said when she was younger, was she still hot to me? So let's repeat what I said verbatim, <laughs> sir. I'm listening. Okay. When she was younger, she was with my dad. They was kids. So as a kid, mine immature. So we can't we can't talk about my dad because she was a kid. So in her adult life, she never was with my dad. She get what she like. How long was she with your father? Oh, just in high school. I don't know the years they was together, but just high school. Oh, they wow. never. So they I've together, never seen really. them be in a relationship. They're so just like friends. Eighteen to. 20? Don't know. So you just smashed them. Sounded like they was fucking. Maybe so in high school. Oh, wow. It was high school oh, wow. sweethearts, so I don't know the, the the numbers. Well, I guess I I I ended up going to a white high school. So when I hear people say white, uh, they, they went when they say, to South Shore in Chicago. No, no, I'm saying when I hear people say high school sweethearts, mm. there's a. 
a date. There. So like nine, like they to don't 12, just say right? high school sweethearts. I don't nine know how long 12. we were together. Nine right. to twelve. Right. <laughs> that, that, I don't that know. It sound like high school sweethearts. Nine high to school 12. sweethearts. Yeah, nine like they were the whole thing the whole time. The whole year. I mean, the whole I, give or take, high yeah. school. Yeah. But I don't know the times and all. I just know they was met in high school. They had me, and I know they friends, and I know that sh they, I've never seen them together other than friends. Why would they not describe that to you, though? Like, tell you about the time they were together? I never was curious. <laughs> what the? I mean, shit, you got to ask. I never was curious. I never wanted to know. I just know that they friends, and that's all I care about. Wow. Okay, yeah. I think the overall concept here is that women in general don't like weak men and don't want to be in relationships with weak men. Now you're giving an exam an uh you know an exception to the rule with sugar mamas or whatever because your whole argument is prefaced on women can advise men because they're in a situation where they're stronger than the man, the guy's a bitch boy and she's the leader. What I'm arguing is that most women don't want to be sugar mamas. Most women don't want to be in a position where they're having to lead their man and put them in a position to win. They want a guy that can just do that themselves. So though that instance can occur i think it's a gross exception to the rule and i would argue because you use your mom as an example i would argue that a big reason why your mom is with is you claim a bitch boy now i think it's because as she got older her ability to attract a strong man probably went down because she's so masculine oh maybe so that i will sense. say this though have you ever heard the situation where they say women that submit to men actually run the man you mean as like a kind of covert operation where like they're trying to be submissive but they really so it's just like they make so they so what I'm saying is they submit like say for instance your man is the head right and then you write under him you still run him because you submit Have there's you power that? in submission yeah is what she's yeah saying. yeah what you said yes and there really is uh, most women uh, my grandmother was like that with my grandfather she ran him but he was the head of the household. Still the leader. Because he trusted her so much exactly. that she made most of the decisions, decisions when that it came sense. to it. But that's what happens when you are a man and you have like you have power and you work and you do all this to create exactly. this. Yes. This woman becomes the delegator. Yes. Yeah. And so it's easy for you to say, I trust her mm -hmm. because most men want to be able to offset what you were talking about yeah if i went out and done all that i want to be able to offset that so it's hard for me to trust a woman who's 15 years younger than me and this bitch ain't did shit but shake ass exactly right. but when i see even when i met her she ain't did shit but shake ass but she showed herself to be useful in my life next thing i know she was telling me don't wear that wear it is this looks better when you go to the meeting i start trusting her now because she makes herself integral in my life mm. that's that makes what sense. men yes. love especially men of power yes. love about a woman yes. bitch don't just be there siphoning off of yes. me yes bring something to, to the, the table, table. Right. so, so my right grandmother right. and right. grandfather was like yep. that. she was the woman that did all of that and he was the man that put it together and they died married and so it's just one of them things you have to choose what you like and you gotta be cool with that what you want yeah she's right all right tommy did you have a question for the girls or i'll read chats or? uh well read the chats i kind of want to fill them out mm -hmm. Uh, we, uh, hopefully my chat will be read this time. Have girls rate each other, then you guys give them an accurate one. WF in a castle club. Okay, we can do that. All right, so I want you to rate the girl next to you. Okay? Um, right here. Oh, my god. I want you to rate her. One out of ten? One out of ten. Looks wise only, not her personality or her vibe or any of that other bullshit that you girls like to use. Just looks only. Pure looks. One out of ten. Now, remember, guys, ten is perfect, right? And eight is like a fucking Victoria's Secret model. Okay, so let's see what you rate her, and then and then you'll rate her last. Go ahead. You guys are crazy. Oh. And then we'll give the real ratings after the guys will. Six. Oh, the women are rating each other. Yeah, yeah, the, the girls are. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, insane! I was insane. <laughs> she gave you a six. Six. I don't. What you gonna do about that? How's that? That's your you? opinion. All right, you gave her six out of ten. Okay, yeah. what about you? What do you give her? Misogyny. Seven out of ten. Okay. How dare you? Right you? Next to you? Eight. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get me yeah, upset again. Uh, Miss Miami. <laughs> yeah, you um, Miami. I give her a seven. Okay. What about you? Um, seven. <laughs> she has <a> seven. <laughs> seven. Women ain't shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Circle jerk. Yeah. Yes. I mean, ain't nobody it's, at the table ugly, so why are we finna sit here right. and degrade a woman for what? But, oh, but really, seven? Hey, really? Up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... No, uh, I'm saying, like, when women <laughs> say this... Like what, like, let me explain. I have a type, so, like, when... Are, are you, like, referring to... 
it like that or did y'all see that video let me i, I, I don't know I like did y'all see that video like... of the black girl who looked and sounded like whoopi goldberg but she said i'm ugly and everybody went to her comment section and said no you're, you're beautiful not... no she wasn't <laughs> she wasn't <laughs> she wasn't she but, wasn't every, but women crazy. y'all will sit up there and tell um y'all will tell big body lizzo Right. How because so, y'all y'all talk shit saying. about each other behind each other's back. Facts. Y'all the same bitches that'll let y'all friend walk outside looking like shit. Facts. Not I. No, not I. But men. Like no, what you're saying. But I'm saying you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Men, <laughs> we're honest with each other. Matter of fact, honest with ourselves. Yeah. Biggie Small said, "Black and ugly as ever." However, he talked about himself. He knew. When's right. the last time you seen a woman say about herself she was ugly or unattractive? When's the last time you heard this? I haven't. Listen. I heard that every day. All these bitches <laughs> is beautiful on their. Instagram. Tell me like all these bitches is models. They ain't never been published, That's but they all models. I hear that every You day. never heard no bunch of niggas out there talking about we models. <laughs> no, there's some conceited ass niggas out here. I, I, don't don't give me the, I'm talk, don't give me the exception. I'm talking about the rule. Men aren't going around doing Lil Wayne ain't never said these bitches love me because I'm pretty. <laughs> He's, oh, never so he's, he's, he's never said that. He's never said this. About it. He know why they love him. Thank you. Right, That's what I'm right. saying. Men Thanks are shit. honest. You don't see these women sitting up there saying, you know what? All I got is big tits. I know I'm ugly, but <laughs> right. Thank I you. got a fat ass. Right. I suck dick all day. That's what I do. Like yeah. You don't hear women doing that. Men are quite honest with why we understand why women like us. We get it. We don't even get mad. We talk to each other and make jokes with each other about what you bring to the table. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. I think the reason why girls lie to each other is because they know that their beauty is their only real value. Yes. That's the reason. True. Because as a man, you said it's Pretty not girl true. privileges. You don't, I, don't I, really I don't care I fuck mean, how you take it. I'm going to hey. tell you, that's not, that is ugly. You're not coming behind me looking like that. Right. Because I have an image. And you're not going to come behind me looking like a scrub. Because then like, you're making us all look like something. Just like if I have whole friends, you take the hoes to certain places and not business places where other important who's stuff the prettiest goes down. girl at the table and who's the ugliest oh okay i'm oh, not doing shit. i'm not saying no no be honest they can't do it men wouldn't have a problem doing this men would have no problem doing that hold on big d stand on business yes you just said it business by the same time no 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 too. They're not offended. <laughs> Tell These them. women are secure. They want to come on this show. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't put you on the spot. I mean, personally, I feel like she's the baddest bitch. She is. Okay. Who but we is? all are bad bitches. Now, who's, who's, who's the ugly? Who's who's got it? Now, who's the ugly? That is terrible, you guys. No, 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 there you go. Yeah. Don't. And the table of sevens, allegedly. They're not going to fight you. Who's a 6.9? I'm going to say her. Who? She's the, she's the best and the worst? No, her. Oh, her. okay. Miss she's India? the prettiest hell, though. Yeah, okay. She's yeah. Indian? No. Ah, <laughs> what's wrong with I did not know she was Because her hair real, nigga. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh she's like, give me that hair. Give me that hair, man. Me, personally, I'm not bald under her either, so. She's not. And ain't. Shit, I'm bald, but I made myself bald. Don't want me to start this conversation. You do not want me to go in this conversation. Shit. Don't like natural hair. I'm talking shit. I love my natural hair, me. I oh, we got sevens all around. Well, yeah, we got sevens all around. All around. Ladies, are you guys aware that most women are fives? Because five is average. Yes. Yeah, I'm average. Yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's funny that all y'all gave each other like seven, six, <laughs> way seven, higher eights, than. Mm-hmm. And I think with men, the reason why we can be blunt about our looks and say, "Oh yeah, I'm not the most handsome guy," or whatever, is because fortunately for us, we're able to add value in other ways. Versus like for money. y'all, yeah, money, <laughs> status, <laughs> lifestyle, yeah. funny, yeah. Nigga, hilarious, yeah, something yeah. like that. But Game. like with y'all, if you guys are ugly. That's it's kind of it. done for y'all. That's it. It's over. You ain't got nothing else but ugly. Why, why is cool. that? Why is that? That's crazy. If you ugly, why is As a that female? just over? Yes. What um, else can you do? Yeah. You <laughs> might look, listen, oh, wow. you might can be a good planner, a good business strategizer. You might can suck I'm good dick. Weak. You might be oh. clean. You might can cook. You might be got the wetty wet. You <laughs> might can take care of kids. You might can do a lot of shit. Like you, just because you can be ugly, you can add in other ways. You know, it ain't about no, just I, being ugly. I agree with you to a certain extent. She is actually right that women that can add true. more. That's why. A lot of y'all ugly friends is married. 
Oh, like a lot of these yeah. bitches are married because <laughs> what they provide is something that that man says these hoes, especially today, they look good and they are untrustworthy. You know, today's generation is really fucked up. So that's just it. Really that. is. I'm an eighties baby, and I just feel like that was like the best aura. I ain't hate. Got no disrespect to y'all, Aaron, but I'm just gonna tell y'all <laughs> the, the women in like 2000 and up is fucked up. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just like they values is different. Like they don't value what we value coming up. Like I was know. at um, mm. last night. I went to the Versace house because I'm I love Versace and the whole story behind him. So I went to the house because I watched the story. If y'all haven't seen the Killing of Versace, it's a great movie. Yeah. Ryan Murphy is awesome. Um, so I went to the house. I wanted to see it. Went there. And I had the table right by the swimming pool, sitting there with a the woman who I'm with. She's gorgeous. I'm I, I was looking rich. That's <laughs> it. That's all I had to do. So we're sitting there, and I noticed by the pool, it was nothing but women kept walking up to the pool, and they would have other women with them. And for five, ten minutes, they were taking all these pictures of themselves. <laughs> and I noticed there were no niggas walking up there three at a time talking about, hey, pictures. nigga, take some pictures of my ass. It's you know, nigga that. looking good. They yeah. never did that. And the more I started talking about it, I said, women really bring no value to the table. Like, I'm sorry, but if you look Assigned. at someone that's constantly saying, look at me, take pictures of me, what else do they do? Content. <laughs> Nothing. But, but even then, I'm just saying, even <laughs> women's content is boring and look at me. How does it help anybody? Like it does nothing. You rarely can have a conversation with a woman and that be a real in depth conversation about life. Mm. Yeah, rarely. But I also got to say this. Most of the time in the world that we live in, everybody is looking at me. If you are on Instagram, Facebook, any it's social media, where we live now, you're saying, look time, at me. Because yeah. if you Imagination. online and you posting something and you don't want nobody to like it or say nothing about it, what the fuck is you No, I'm not talking about that. But like, think about it. If, when me and Fresh take a picture, think about this. It's one picture. And we get the fuck out. We ain't taking 30 pictures to find one that looks good. It's different <laughs> for to, but guys, looking though. Rich. So it's all you have to different. do is go to the Versace house, buy that table, look rich like you did, and then you're going to post that one motherfucking picture looking rich. That's all no, you got to do. No, but that's what I was saying. That's that wasn't, but that's what I'm saying. That's what didn't happen. Like, those men were taking pictures of the... There was men who were taking pictures of the women that they brought. But the yeah. women didn't turn around and, and say, give them the same. I always you. do she that, see what though. I'm saying? With my nigga, yeah. But you see what I'm saying, I get what right? you're saying. They never did. But I always do that. This, like, yeah, the I'm reason you're here you is too. because this nigga can afford it. Yeah, but mm. you And he was that inconsequential <laughs> to you because you wanted the world to see that you are at this spot that he took you to. By but yourself. Did, type shit. Thank you. But he did it. <laughs> yeah, and he it was did, like it was inconsequential to the situation. Post up the place. They look like I got the bitches. Yeah, but he was only looking good to the people who was at the spot. He didn't do it for social media. Oh, she he did. never posted? No, oh, he didn't okay. take any. They, she took no pictures of him. Oh. It was all about her. She a and, dumb bitch because she don't know. She should have took that picture and but, praised him and got that baby. Yeah. But what shocked me is I got to say this, and this Some is where my racism is going to show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched oh, yeah, true. the Indian women. They were doing it, but they were taking like one or two pictures, and then they would take pictures of them and their husbands or their men. Together. The black chicks, it was just them by themselves and every one of them had to do the picture of look at my ass uh -uh. Hey, <laughs> to take a picture with my back turned by hey, playing with my hair uh -uh. every one of them and I kept saying I said well there's no man with them at all they're just here to say I, I was there I was, right. that's I why I love saying. when you said yeah. you said when I'm I with my man saying. yeah his ass is going to be in this, Take too. Pictures, like, yeah. think about it. Half the time, we reluctant to even do it. We're like, nah. You're yeah. like, nah, nigga. Yeah. Get it's you, it's, it, because of you, I'm here. Right. Exactly. Let's get it in. Yeah. And that's what and I loved about those together. Indian women. I watched them, and I said, they really love a man. Like, yeah. bring your curry-eating ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should have took a picture of especially if he was looking good. Yes. I mean, it's good to look good together. But they didn't care if he didn't so. look good. Their idea was, I'm Me. your arm candy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, like, it's like they wanted to show. Like, if the best way to make your ugly man look good is be his girl. For sure. Yeah. That's true. Is Always. it not? It Absolutely. is. I would know. Uh, shut the question, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I think <laughs> the bottom line is that the main utility that women bring to the table is, you know, one thing, which is her, her beauty. The, you mentioned, oh, but what about the other things she could do? The thing is, is that she's got to attract the man in the first place. Yeah. Like, no guy's going to come up to you and be like, damn, you got a business and you're a business owner? You're Let right. me go ahead and take you're you on right. a date. It's yeah. going to be yeah. first, hey, you're attractive. You're Let me talk it. to you. And then if you have these other things about you, that's a plus. Mm -hmm. But, like, with men, it's always looks yes. first. Versus yeah. with women, 
you can negotiate with that. It's negotiable. The dude could be ugly, but he could be funny, or he could be charming, or he could be charismatic, or he can have money, or he can have some status. And girls will go ahead because there's many ways that men have to provide value to get girls. You're trying to say something? I was. I was yeah, just sure. going to ask go you what what is ugly and what's beautiful. Because for to, to some people, I'm fucked up, but then to oh. some people, I'm a bad bitch. Okay, so I, I hear I okay. I know people like to use this term like this Eurocentric beauty standard or whatever. Yeah. I think that's a scam. I think in gen, with that whole Euro, I think that's the global thing. Like okay. men in general don't like fat women. Okay. They want long hair. They want youth. They want you, you uh, fertility. They want indicators of of a, of a healthy woman that can bear children. Slim waist, wider hips, and yes. that. Um, big titties, like this is these are things are just universally attractive. Now, with that said, are there things that some guys find attractive? Yeah, but what I've always said is this: if I gave a dude that says I like big women, mm -hmm. if I gave him two million dollars, a Lamborghini, and a blue check on Instagram, he's gonna be fucking hot models that night. Skinny, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Slim. Men always say dumb shit like that, like I like this and blah blah blah. Yeah, but give that guy some status, give that guy some options, and I'd like for you to see who he picks. Type he's gonna shit. pick the bad bitches. Kanye West is a perfect example. When he was trying to come up, he was trying to do what black women told him to say. Soon as a nigga get money, he get a white girl. Well, what did he do soon as he got money? Ooh, same thing. The same thing he said. That's why most men online are lying to you black women telling y'all these niggas is weak for not being with y'all. Because as soon as they get some money, they don't want nobody with all that fucking mouth and doing the same thing. Nobody yeah. wants that. But they will say it to you in order to fleece you into fucking them. Most men say enough to get you to fuck them, not enough to get you to marry them. Damn. So why listen to what he's saying when he's trying to fuck? Listen to what he says after he's fucked, because then he's trying to move past that stage. That's mm. true. That's, That's true. true. Right there. Yeah. Um, wow. Free but, game. Shit. Yeah, but I, I think. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I, I think you know why motherfucker. I get what you're saying, because like, I know you're making the claim. You know, beauty is an eye of the beholder. I would argue that for men. Yeah. Uh, well, number one, th th there's different standards, right? Like, a guy will smash anything, so that's one thing. But, I mean, like, what men, like, universally find attractive, it's pretty similar. If I took a hot chick and I showed her to, to myself, to Fresh, whatever, 90% uh, of guys are going to say, oh, yeah, she's attractive. So, I but mean. But what's a hot chick? You just say He's it, saying like, like, like thick, there's long a long hair, what? Long hair, in shape, mm -hmm. nice ass, nice tits. A pretty face. Most men are gonna like that. That's think, what they want. I think we can all agree as men. When you see a woman that's hot, we yeah, it's pretty. Hot. It's fairly. It's fairly yeah. simple. What like she don't have to try. Well, I, I, men I are easy to please. Like what about attitude? Hair. No, no. But Sorry. Look, does it matter? <laughs> well, well I'm after your after lips. The that's the yeah. That's the <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, like that. I'm smacking my lips because those dudes that say I like short hair, they'll fuck a chick that has long hair too. Of course. They, they, just, tell, they just tell you what I you want to hear. That. I agree with that. Yeah. Like, like, I like, do all that. Like, like, I don't like anything. Um, all them got short hair. The yeah. best way to tell. Yeah, how yeah, but these are women. It, you do realize that only like a minority of women could pull off short hair and I still do look realize good. that. Only hell? a minority. You have to have, you have, to have like... A I very realize pretty it. face. I realize that. You have to very have a very pretty face. Like these women you mentioned are like exceptions to the rule. But most women can't pull it off. And most men overwhelmingly want long hair. I agree. Well, and the thing about um, men is it's easy to tell today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will. I have fucked a lot. My dick resume is all over the board. Oh. Oh, wow. I've hired some seasonal bitches. Okay. Simps. Okay. Simps. Temp. 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 Is when he will enter other. He will let other people see her with. Exactly. Right. If you the twelve o'clock girl, the two o'clock girl. Yes. He call you at night. You know what you are. You now you might doing? not right. want to say, "Oh, now these niggas be wanting to fuck me." They, yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. They be in your DMs, but they don't be on your page letting motherfuckers know that they there. <laughs> I am not gonna sit up there with this ugly bitch. I'm, I will fuck a lot of ugly bitches. <laughs> I, I have. Cause ugly bitches take care of you. This bitch will cook, clean, all kind of shit. She will lick your balls and your ass. <laughs> Just Ooh. saying. Pretty bitch. Do that too. No, yeah, a lot of do. them do, but yeah, they come with a cost. Now. Yeah. But you ain't gonna laugh at that. Anyway, but but it's like if you want to know how a man feels oh about God. you, yes. what does he do with you exactly. after he's fucked you? Yeah. Right. If I fuck you and I don't think you're attractive, I find other shit to do. You got to get out of my house. Time to go, baby. Yeah. She, you know, she yeah. know what you yeah. talking about. You yeah. been kicked out of the house. But no. but that's what it is. Like women can lie. Like when they say, "Oh, you don't fuck a man on the first date." The only people who say that is the only thing they got worth is pussy. Because if you if you are really if you a woman that's worth a fuck, you can fuck a nigga within five yes. minutes of meeting you, and this nigga will not kick you out. 
Sure. He, no, I need to know sure. anyway in the beginning if yeah. the dick is good. Because I don't want to wait a long time and then I'm upset. So ladies, if you want to know how you look, if you want to know how you look, find out how many people in my life you know. Exactly. That's true. That's right. I agree. If you're ugly, you know me and my dog. And I keep my dog away from you. <laughs> For real. Because he don't even like your ass. Uh, 